Nicaragua will exploit its unnatural resources, oil and gas, which is constitutionally under the state lease as per nine schedule of the federal constitutions. Chief Minister Dato Patingi Abangzari Tunabangaji Openg said the decision was agreed by Prime Minister Dato Sui Najib Tumraza to return to the state the power that has been inevitably eroded over the years. He added the formations of Petros at the exercising of the constitutional rights under the item 2 bracket C of the state lease and 8 bracket J of the federal lease as provided in the 9 schedule of the federal constitution is the outcome of the discussion on devolutions of power between the state and federal government. He explained it means the federal government's authority on oil and oil fields and the development of mineral resources is subject to the state's right to grant mining rights for oil and natural gas within Sarawak. He said this in his remarks during the launching of Petroleum Sarawak Berhad Petros in Kuching. He further said, the launching of Petros also shows a clear testimony that substantial progress has been achieved in the ongoing discussion on devolutions of power. He also assured that we've continued support, more progress will be made to meet the aspirations of Sarawakians that the state of Sarawak to attain the level of development of the more developed states in peninsular Malaysia by having more revenues from oil, gas and other mineral resources to fund the state government's development agenda and the initiatives launched for a digital economy for Sarawak. Meanwhile, the chairman of Petros, Tan Sri Dato Amar Hamid Bugo, in his opening speech said, Petros is the best thing yet that has happened in Sarawak as the state need catalysts to achieve and sustain its social and economic growth development.